Oh, yes, the national show. Josh Sales and the team crushed. It was amazing. And a huge shout out to Jason Hinderberg. The drone shots of our booth, if you check out Bonsai Mirai's Facebook page, there's a, a 3D walkthrough of our vendor booth. And without further ado, let's dive into the actual critique. Uh, again, courtesy of Jason Hinderberg, he did a huge body of work that is so beneficial to the Bonsai community. Let's begin, okay? Now, anytime that we talk about a show, I think beyond discussing the trees, we wanna talk about the layout. And Josh, take me in. And I just wanna look at the broad overview here of the show and kind of talk about some of the, the things that make the national show really special. Now, fundamental show setup says that these corner points right here, you see my mouse waving right there, trees should be entering the show. This juniper right here has a really nice leftward lean taking you in. Tree on this far corner, typically a rightward lean keeping you in, right? And one of the glowing aspects of the national show are these alleys that give rise to these trees at the end. I talked with Aaron uh, Packard from the Pacific Boneside Museum. His redwood composition sat right here, right at the tail end where the Mariah Hinoki was uh, during the 2018 national show. So powerful with the um, Iuna Tinta uh, redwood from the bottom looking up into the canopy perspective. But this exhibition and the layout of the exhibition, as we understand and as we start to, to construct exhibitions ourselves, having this inward lean on the corner is very important. Typically, we move from species to species or genre to genre. If this starts with a conifer, next we would want maybe a broadleaf. We would love to have the oscillation of heights through this exhibition. And this is where I think the layout and organization could improve with the National Show. We see a lot of small pieces right in through here in the middle. You see these kind of smaller pieces here that create a homogenous height. There's some bigger pieces that have a little bit of uh, homogenous height as well. To intermix these smaller with these bigger, that makes for a very strong show. Now let me just point out uh, in, a, in a broad statement, these pieces that sit on these booths out here with no backdrop, that is no, no tree land in terms of recognition and visual distinction from the rest of the show. It is tough for a tree in these positions to gain visibility, right? So just in terms of fundamental show dynamics, interesting things to acknowledge. Now, as we get into the show, right, Bill has a very traditional model. They've come up with the structure here to hold the backdrops. Um, this is different from the Kokfu. The Kokfu does not have these structural elements here. It has some metal uh, L-shaped brackets and you have a solid panel, so you don't have transparency in the backdrop. Similar felt covering, similar dressings, right? And we talk a bit th about this display height as uh, table height, 32 inches, give or take a few, okay? Now, as we walk through this, now you notice in, in looking down, the difference in height, the difference in species, location to location is a pivotal component of the display and we start to kind of dive into the actual exhibition itself. Now there's a few pieces I want to talk